to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I am here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. Um, we are going to be talking about masking fluid today for some of you who are wondering what in the world is that stuff. Um, I'll explain a little and shed some light on the mystery of masking fluid. Um, one of the things that confuses um, people is the fact that they have 15 million names like uh, white mask and mask it and maskoid and frisk it and all this kind of stuff. They, they're all marketing words for essentially the same thing, which is liquid latex. That is all that it is. Um, what you would use this for, if you don't know, is let's say that you have a painting that you know that you want to save the white area of the paper um, or even the canvas. I've known acrylic painters to do this too, but they will actually use masking fluid to paint onto a dry surface and mask out an area that keeps the, the paint from seeping into there. So you can save really, really elaborate shapes that you don't have to go back in and paint around. And then when you're done with your painting, you just wipe it off. Um, you can either use a white eraser, which I don't recommend, or we here at Cheap Joe's have a masking fluid pickup, which is a little teeny square. Um, you can, it picks up rubber cement and stuff like that too. It's like 99 cents, you definitely get it. Um, and you, then you have a brilliant white shape that you didn't have to like, you know, paint around multiple, multiple times. So it's super handy and convenient. There are some popular misconceptions around masking fluid. One is that you can't dry it with a hairdryer. I have never found that to be true. You don't want to bake it on there with a hairdryer, but you know, if you're trying to hurry things along a little bit, you can definitely do that. The other thing is that you really, really can't apply it to moist paper. So if you're painting along and you go, oh, well, I probably wanted to add in this area. Well, you could um, and put some masking fluid down, but you are gonna have to wait for that to dry completely before you add the masking fluid on top. Just a little bit of moisture from the paper can cause it to d dilute and then seep into um, the tooth of the paper. Then when you go to try to pull it off, it like just rips the paper and stuff. So that is definitely a no-go area. Um, masking fluids come in all kinds of different colors, blues and yellows and green tints and gray tints and all that kind of stuff. And the purpose of that is, is that if it was just white on the white of your paper, it's kind of hard to find where you put it down sometimes when you're done. So they do tint them many different ways in order to be make it easy to find. Um, you can apply them with oiler boilers. We have frisket tools. We have, um, you know, masking fluid markers and pens and all kinds of different accessories that you can use in conjunction with making applying masking fluid really, really easy and get a lot of detail. So if you haven't tried it and you didn't kind of know what it was, you definitely look into some masking fluid because it's a whole lot of fun. Enjoy. Enjoy.